Today we're going to put the roast cauliflower with the spice blend up on top of an Alfredo style sauce that's made out of mostly cauliflower. So I start with about a cup of milk and I warm it with some crushed garlic. So now the whole hot milk situation will taste like garlic, but not overly garlicky, not bitter, because we're not frying it in oil, okay? And we melt some sweet butter, a couple of tabs of butter, a couple of tablespoons into that mixture. Then we're going to season this with a little freshly grated nutmeg. And I'm also going to add a little bit of white pepper and a little salt, being pretty cheap with the salt, and a little white pepper. Stir that together and just let it gently warm and hang out and all those flavors will come together. Now I bought two heads of the cauliflower. We're gonna put one in the oven at 450 and let that roast up until it's crispy at the edges and really yummy. We're adding two different textures using the same vegetable. The other bunch of cauliflower, we're going to put in some boiling water, which you can use the same water for your pasta in a bit. <clears throat> we're going to cook this in boiling salted water for about 10 minutes until it's tender. So to our um, cauliflower, we're going to add our seasoning blend. I'm going to make more than we need for the recipe, so we've got it for the popcorn the next day. <laughs> so I'm gonna start with about a quarter cup or four tablespoons of ground sumac. And that's about half of this small container, it's about a quarter cup. And then I'm gonna add about three tablespoons of toasted sesame. Uh, these are called za'atar leaves. This has a flavor profile very similar to oregano, and oregano is very similar to marjoram. So if you can't find the za'atar leaves or you don't want to bother to order them online, you can just add in a couple of fat pinches, uh, one and one, oregano and marjoram, or two fat pinches of oregano instead. To that, we're going to add a few tablespoons of dill, a little parsley, sprinkle of oregano or marjoram, and then granulated garlic and granulated onion. They're best friends. They like to go everywhere together. And so do cumin and coriander. And then you pop it into a little airtight container and give it a shake. And now you've made your own. Then we're gonna take some olive oil, non-aerosol, non-aerosol uh, olive oil spray. That's our glue. We sprinkle liberally with za'atar and pop this sucker in the oven. I'm going to drain our cauliflower and get ready to show you how to make that sauce when we come back, the cauliflower. <laughs> Okie doke, uh, now we're gonna go back to our cauliflower sauce. Remember, we're roasting uh, our cauliflower, one whole head, small florets, roasting that in the oven with a little olive oil and our homemade za'atar spice, also great on popcorn. Uh, and now we're going to make our kind of fake out Alfredo sauce by adding our hot milk with the white pepper, the nutmeg and the crushed garlic and a little bit of butter into our high power blender or food processor, either or. Here is the cauliflower that we cooked in the boiling water until just tender. Slide that in with a little of that starchy salty cooking liquid and the cauliflower is what makes us feel less guilty about the cup of freshly grated Parmigiano Reggiano. <laughs> this is a beautiful egg pasta. It's an egg fettuccine. Uh, of course, any pasta you like. And egg pastas are very quick cooking, so I'm gonna take a quick break to um, whiz up the sauce, and I'll meet you right back here, because you won't be able to hear me anyway. That looks ridiculous. I would like to just kind of get in there and swim around <laughs> with the fettuccine and our luxurious, gorgeous sauce of the ground cauliflower. Now, if this gets a little tight, if the sauce was tight, that's when you add some of that salty water that we were talking about for the marriage of the sauce to the pasta. Wow. Don't forget, we also made our za'atar roast cauliflower to go up on top. <laughs> right? So a word to the wise, do not make this for people you don't really love because they're coming back. <laughs>